Today I'm going to show you how to create stashes for gangs in MLO Player Homes. To do this, I'll be using RLK stashes. You can do this without it, but this method is simpler and easier to follow. I hope you enjoy the video. First, click the link in the description that takes you to the resource. Once you're here, we're going to hit the green code and download zip. Once that's done, open it up and open your server resources. Then you're going to drag this in and rename it. Typically, we remove the main from the end, but I'm going to rename it entirely and just call it stashes. Next, go to your server CFG and ensure the resource. After that, hit file and save. And for the next part, you'll need to go into your server. Once you're in the server and at the spot where you want the stash to be, we're going to go to the resource and open the config. Once you're in here, you'll see the first option is allowing police to open the stashes. You can leave it at true or set it to false. You'll also see that there's a template here. You can use it or copy and paste it. I'm going to use it, but I'm also going to take away all the dashes. And then we'll remove this. So first you'll need to name it. And then we'll go back into the server and copy the cords. And then we'll change gang required to true and put the name of your gang. You can change the size of the stash and how many slots it has. I'm just going to leave it as default. For homes, the process is basically the same. I'm just going to use Franklin's aunt's house as an example. So we'll go back to the config, copy the one we just made, hit enter and paste, and then start renaming the information. And then for the cores, we'll go back in. Now I'm going to change a uh, required citizen ID to true. Make the gang requirement false. And clear this. Now to get the citizen ID, I'm just going to use an ID that I have. And again, you can change the size of the stash and the amount of slots it has. I'm going to leave it as default. After that, you can hit file and save, restart your server, and test it out. Okay, we're back in the server and at the home. And as you can see, I can open the stash and put things in there. Okay, so we're back at the gang location. And as you can see, I can open the stash and put items inside. and take them out. That'll be all for this video. If this helped you out, please leave a like and a sub. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.